Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the light heavyweight bout between William Knight versus Maxim Grishin. Or yeah, Max, Maximum, not just Maxim Grishin. So William Knight versus Maxim Grishin, light heavyweight division. How I see this one right here? William Knight is, like, let me see. How, how do I say this? Let me try to say this. William Knight is always a dangerous fighter, right? You know, to fighters of a certain level. I think once you reach a certain level, William Knight is not much of a threat. Matter of fact, I think all levels they got a threat. Like, threat to injure you, a threat to hit you with a bomb. Maybe not a set of, like, oh, this guy's going to have the best chance to beat me, but in the chance that I could likely go in this fight and end up injured for the slightest thing, because this guy out there, he's not textbook at all. So you get in a lot of unfamiliar situations. Like, you might get your left knee tweaked, this tweak. I'm not saying from submitting you, but the fact that you're fighting a little bolder that's, like, eight feet wide and four feet tall. Like, now I'm exaggerating. He, like, he say he's six feet, but he like really like five nine, five eight. But we give it to him. He, a matter of fact, I'm gonna give him. I give him five nine. I ain't give him six feet. I give him. He like five nine. He probably could be five eight, but I give him five nine. But anyway, the short, bulky, bolder, pound of muscle, like this big mold and mesh of muscle right there. But um, yeah, William Knight is still not really impressed with the striking. Like I see some little improvements here and there. But let's just look at the um Lonzo Middlefield fight. Fight was so close, could have went either way. Really, I would. Yes, um, both fighters were hurt in that fight, but um. I think what really, the third round was the shifter, was the determiner. And yes, Minifield was able to hold him in his cage, but Minifield literally held him in his cage. That was his whole strategy for the third round. I mean, yeah, for the third round. Limited attack and hold him in his cage. And then he at least did, like, you know, punch him against the cage, like some little inside, little punches against the cage, some little knees, little elbows, do some of this, do some of that. He literally just hold him in his cage. And Willie Knight just do some shots here and there, probably do like six strikes to um, Minifield's two. And that was why he won. He had some cage control time, but did literally nothing with it. If he would do like two or three knees, do a little elbow in there, probably would have been his fight. But he literally thought, oh, this is high fight IQ. I just hold him against his cage, I win the fight. Nothing happens, I hold him against his cage for two minutes, I win the fight. And the rest was like, um, you held him against his cage and literally did nothing. Did not attempt to take down, did not do a single punch, did not even attempt or dink to throw a punch, and he lost. Still could have went his way, you know, by sometimes the judges judge, but it just didn't play out of the way. And that fight IQ or what he thought was fight IQ was not or backfired, but Anyway, I look at William Knight. I see plenty of ways for Maxim Grisham to beat him. I feel like William Knight's, I don't really see him having the greatest success grappling. I definitely see him trying to muscle him to the ground at the points. Definitely see him swinging these big shots. But I like Maxim Grisham just too clean, too solid, too sharp in his base. You know, be laying his shots, avoid the big looping, big wide power shots of Max, uh, I said, the wide power shots of William Knight. I definitely see William Knight could definitely have some effect with his big, big legs. You know, his, not, like I said, it's not all that technical, but the man's big, a massive muscle. Just a little bit of technique, blast the legs with some heavy kicks could be an issue. But I see um, Grishin is constantly standing in his face, in and out of range, touching him, maybe slipping some of those kicks, maybe eating some of those kicks. But for the most part, it's not really giving William Knight that space. Like, giving him that space to miss, but never giving him that space to breathe. Just constantly up in his face, touching with the jab, stand textbook, tan, stand to his fundamentals, and let William Knight swing those big big lumberjacks and miss and whiff, counter him. And just constantly walking out. I think eventually, I don't know, William Knight has not really been stopped yet. So the guy is hard to finish. Gresham definitely has the ability to finish him. I'm going to say a decision. Probably going to be a close decision, to be honest. William Knight probably land a big shot every now and then. Gresham going to be landing the cleaner, consistent shots. William Knight might land a big, you know, big power shot every now and then, like a big body kick or a big leg kick. Might score a takedown at the end of a round or something. But again, I don't really see no consistent success from William Knight. I see like big moments. Whereas Gresham, I feel like he'll be the one consistently landing value, consistently landing power shot, consistently landing sharper, sharper shots. Whereas William Knight going to be landing the little thudding shots that's going to hit like your shoulder, probably hits your guard, probably touch you as you turn a little bit. But the fact that he's so powerful, even if it's not scoring, it's going to have some effect or it's going to at least be received by the judge. Like, ooh, like, you know, you see a big muscle-bound man swinging, touching something. Like, he hits your guard, you move a little bit. He, like, you block it, but he's, this man could bench press um, track the trailer. So even though you block your body's still moving, like, they're going like, to react to that. But I've taken Maxim Grisham with confidence. I just feel like he's more real around, like, the more well-rounded, the more composed, the more complete fighter, the more sh sharper fighter. And he's not like a fighter that's in his 50s, in like his late 40s or anything like that. So I feel like he got all the experience and all the skills and also had the height, the reach, and also the resume. So that, and with that resume comes experience. And I feel like he'll be able to do enough to get his hand raised. Probably not pretty just for the simple fact it's hard to look good against Woman Knight outside of what Daung Jung did. But again, ultimately my decision in this one is Maxim Grishin via decision.